welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you into my bathroom and showing you my very messy and very cluttered medicine cabinet. We are going to be going through my skincare and decluttering it. As you can see, it's a whole big mess in here. But today, we're gonna clean it up. We are going to take everything out of here go through every single item in here and then put it all back and hopefully it'll look a whole lot better than it does right now. So if you love skincare and if you love organization videos, then I hope that you will please keep on watching. You sweet boy. All right, let's get right to decluttering. I'm gonna take everything out of my medicine cabinet and put it onto this really professional crumpled up towel that I have on the ground. And then we're gonna very carefully carry that towel and bring it into my bedroom and then we are going to go through all of my skincare. Stay tuned for the montage, it's coming at you right now. And so it is clean. Right, we're back in my bedroom, the place where I normally film. Earth signs are quaking right now. Bird is also quaking. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with all the boring stuff. I know you probably saw there's like a lot of deodorant and like cough drops and medicine and stuff in there. It is a shared medicine cabinet. Me and my boyfriend live together and we share it very kindly. I am gonna try to go through this in the same order that I would my skincare routine. So I'll go through all my cleansers I have, then all of my toners, then all of my serums, all of my treatments, all of my masks, all of my moisturizers, all my oils. You get the picture. You guys know skincare. Let's get into it. All right, I've talked, I feel like I've talked about this one in like a million different skincare videos, but this is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser from Crave. I love this. It's a super gentle hydrating cleanser. I use this in a double cleanse. I go in with my oil cleanser first to take my makeup off, and then I follow it up with this guy, and he works just beautifully, and it makes my skin feel super fresh. Oh, let's talk about my oil cleanser. This one is from a brand called Kose. I got this on Amazon for like $8. It's just a really nice, gentle, fragrance-free cleansing oil. Um, it has glycerin in it. Ingredients are not in English, but I've looked it up online. I know it has glycerin in it. Um, but just a bunch of gentle ingredients, and it takes my makeup off really well and doesn't make me break up. Of course, I'm keeping it. Right, moving on to a tiny cleanser that I have. This one is from Drunk Elephant. It's their jelly cleanser. I got this in like a Sephora. It was like a Sephora gift or something, so it was free. Um, I definitely wouldn't repurchase the full size of this because I think it's like $30, which I think is a little much. It is a great cleanser. I keep it as a travel size. My favorite part about it is that you don't have to take the cap off. Off, you just twist it and then the product comes out. Amazing, spectacular, never the same. Incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same. But yeah, this is great. Do I think it's as great as my matcha hemp cleanser? I don't think so. Definitely will be sticking with this one, but it's great to have for travel. All right, moving on to toners. I only have one. You're gonna find that the majority of these products I go through are gonna be serums and moisturizers because that's just a dry skin gal's best friend. But let's talk about this toner. This one's from First Aid Beauty. It's their Ultra Repair Wild oat hydrating toner. I'm starting to feel like toners are a bit of a scam because toners originally were introduced to rebalance your pH after your cleanser throws it off, but that was more of an issue when you were using cleansers with a lot of harsh soaps like sodium lauryl sulfate. My cleanser is soap free. The pH of this cleanser is a five to a, is between five and six percent, which is where your skin naturally lies, so I don't really need to rebalance my pH at all. I don't notice enough of a difference using it that I think it would be worth repurchasing, but I do enjoy having it, so of course I'm gonna finish it. All right, let's move on to my treatments. I have two. The first one is from The Ordinary. It is their niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. I love this. I think it's great. It's definitely noticeably brightening. It is empty though. I think I was just leaving it in there to remind myself to buy more. So I'm definitely gonna buy more of this, but I'm not gonna put the empty bottle back into my medicine cabinet. That's crazy. All right, the next treatment I wanna talk about is from Dermalect. It is their Self-Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum. It's a combination of glycolic, salicylic, and L-absorbic acids. It's a little harsh to put all over my face. Salicylic acid is really good for acne, but it's also very stripping. And with my dry sensitive skin, it's a little much. I really just put it on spots where I can like see the pimple coming to a head and I 
feel like it helps. I feel like it looks better in the morning. It's really just drying the spot out though. I am currently pursuing better options for spot treatments, but I am using this in the meantime. I'm not gonna get rid of it because I don't have anything else. All right, moving on to my serums. The first one I wanna go through is from First Aid Beauty. It's their anti-redness serum. This is a huge bummer because they don't make this anymore. I don't know why they don't make it anymore because it's great. My bottle is empty, which is really just making me feel worse about having this because I can't even repurchase it. It's such a bummer. It has colloidal sulfur in it. Who knows what that does, but it definitely visibly reduced the redness on my cheeks. So great. They don't make it anymore. I'm mad about it. So I'm going to finally throw this empty bottle away. Here's another empty bottle that I'm saving for some reason. This is the Blue Lotus Brightening Serum from Perlis. Got this in an Ipsy bag. Felt like it worked pretty well for brightening. Realized it had fragrance in it. It, and that's probably why I was getting my little teeny tiny breakouts on my face. So I did finish it, but I am not going to repurchase it because I avoid fragrance in my skincare. Great. All right, a serum that I am loving and will definitely repurchase because they still make it at First Aid Beauty. This is from Vichy. It's their Mineral 89 Booster. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It also has glycerin in it. Super hydrating, has a nice like jelly texture to it. It helps your skin to retain moisture with the hyaluronic acid and everything you apply on top of this absorbs better onto it. It's great. 10 out of 10 would buy and will buy again. Moving right along to my moisturizers, I have a few to talk about here. The first one's from First Aid Beauty. It's their Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I bought this because I had been previously using their Ultra Repair Cream, which I absolutely love, but it's very thick. It's très thick, and that's really great for the winter time for me, but I wanted to move on to something a little bit lighter, you know, something a little bit light for summertime. Well, this carried me well into the winter, and I am currently awaiting a shipment for my Ultra Repair Cream because it's just a little too light for winter time. Maybe if you're someone who has oily skin and you tend to go towards lighter moisturizers because cream spray you out then I would definitely recommend this. It's just not quite thick enough for me. So moving on, this is the Aveeno Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I used this for seven years straight. I used this exact moisturizer for seven years. I used it throughout high school. I used it throughout college. It always worked great for me. I never had a problem. I repurchased this a couple weeks ago and it made my skin burn. What the heck, man? I mean, this really goes to show you that your skin is constantly changing and evolving and you kind of have to keep your skincare routine fresh because although it's great to find something that works for you, you have to really listen to your skin. And if your skin starts having a reaction one day and you're like, oh, this couldn't possibly be from this, it's a product I've been using forever. It actually could because your skin does change and it can become more sensitive over time. I just find that the sunscreen in here really breaks me out. I tend to go for a physical sunscreen. I'm gonna ask my mom if she wants it. I feel like she would like this, but I am not gonna be keeping it. All right, last one I'm moving on to. Oh, this is a bummer, because this is Willita Skin Food. It's a Katie Jane Hughes recommendation. Her skin is beautiful, flawless, never the same, always spectacular. Incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular. But, this has so many essential oils in it that I think it's breaking me out. And I think it's drying me out too, which is crazy because it's so thick. Like this is truly the thickest cream you will ever see. Ready? But yeah, like I said, it just has a lot of essential oils in it. So I am gonna keep it. I'm gonna continue to put it on my body because my body doesn't seem to be too upset about all of these essential oils, whereas the skin on my face, it's not a big fan. If you're not sure if you have a reaction to essential oils on your face or not, look for those teeny tiny bumps. They're not always gonna pop up as pimples or blackheads or the type of breakouts you're used to seeing, but they'll pop up as like, they look like goosebumps. It just looks like your face has goosebumps on it because they're so teeny tiny. That's typically a reaction to fragrance or to essential oils. And I did notice that when using this Willita skin food all over my face. So I'm going to stick to using it sparingly on my hands, but I'm not going to be keeping this in my skincare routine. Let's talk about oils. Oils can be great for your skin, whether your skin is oily or dry. Oils can really give you that deep repair that your dehydrated or dry skin so desperately deserves. Unfortunately, this one 
is not one of the good ones. This is the go-to face hero oil and I really liked it at first because I really did feel like it was reducing inflammation in my skin but I do notice that if I use this for more than a couple nights in a row I start to break out and not just those tiny bumps like I was talking about before like actual pimples that I can tell it's from this product specifically because it's the only different thing I'm introducing into my routine after some research and discovery I found that there is a lot of essential oils in here it doesn't need to smell nice when you're doing your skincare routine. If you want that spa experience, light a candle. Put some essential oils in your oil diffuser, but just don't put them on your face. It's not worth the breakouts and it's not worth the irritation. Another oil I want to talk about is from Milk Makeup. Hydrating. It's just a hydrating oil. It's a little roll-up one. This one's actually not for the face. It's for the body. I think it's really great on the body. It's not so outstanding that I think I'll spend $26 on it again, but I definitely am going to finish it, so therefore it is staying. All right, moving on to my largest category, which is masks. Spoiler alert, I'm not keeping any of them. I'm not keeping any of these, and do you know why? It's because they all have fragrance in them. It's so easy to part ways with things when you just don't put fragrance in your skincare anymore. All right, we've made it. This is the last category of skincare I have to go through. I am sweating. Wow, amazing. Okay. This is the Perlis Blue Lotus Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30. This has chemical sunscreens in it, it has avobenzone in it, it has all the other ones that I can't pronounce, but just a lot of chemical sunscreens that don't make my skin feel great. It's also highly fragranced, so I have to part ways with this. Sorry for this. Moving on to my favorite sunscreen. It's an empty bottle, which is really unfortunate. I need to buy more. I don't want to because it's $20 for this tiny thing, but I'm going to because it's my favorite. It's from Crave Beauty. It's the Beach Shield Antioxidant Day Fluid. They can't call it sunscreen due to really strict laws with the FDA in the United States, but they do call it sunscreen in South Korea where it is manufactured. It is sunscreen it does protect your skin from UVA and UVB rays. It has beetroot, allantoin, vitamin C, resveratrol, and EGCG in it. It leaves a beautiful sheen on your skin. I like to use it as a little bit of a shiny primer. It makes your skin look nice. Absolutely no white cast. I understand that I have fair skin and it can be harder for me to tell if something has white cast on it, but this does have a bit of a a yellowy golden tint to it and it really does sheer out very nicely so I think that all skin tones could use this but I love this sunscreen from Crave Beauty and I'm gonna keep using it forever as soon as I buy a new one but no I'm not gonna put that empty bottle back in my medicine cabinet all right let's go drag all of this stuff back into the bathroom and put it back in my medicine cabinet all right please enjoy another sped up montage video of me putting everything back in my medicine cabinet starting right now could not believe how much empty space is in my medicine cabinet. This is crazy. Let me show you where everything is. So obviously you got some, some odds and ends over here. I have some, some tools, some nail clippers. This is my little face mask scoop. If I ever have a mask I want to put on, I don't want to use my fingers. That's nice. Got my floss down there, some razors and whatnot. And in the middle you have my skincare. You got my cleanser, my oil cleanser, my toner, you got my treatment serums, you have my moisturizer, and then over here we have the things I don't use all the time, like I said, my little travel size moisturizer, my body oil, this is a little concealer from First Aid Beauty that's all supposed to be, also supposed to be a de-puffer that I use occasionally, so I leave that here, and um, then you got some hand creams, a lip scrub, medicine, thus the medicine cabinet. Wait, did my serum get lost along the way? Where the heck is my Vichy serum? All right, we did lose a friend along the way. My Vichy serum is here. <sighs> Alas, complete again. All right, that's it. That's the end of the video. I am officially organized. If you watched my last series about me organizing my makeup collection, you know that I just did a big five-part series where I decluttered my entire makeup collection 
and now my skincare collection is done and I am officially an organized lady wow and I gotta tell you it feels good thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please be sure to give it a big thumbs up that lets YouTube know to recommend it to other like-minded adults that might also like this type of content thanks so much for watching bye